Hello, everyone. This is criminal profiler Pat Brown. And today, you're going to see me in, in a rage. Uh, I'm not in a rage very often. And I don't remember being in a rage like this since the jury found Casey Anthony not guilty of the murder of her daughter. I remember that day. When it happened, I was in my living room, and I actually got up off the sofa, and I just walked out of my house. I remember slamming the door behind me and standing on the porch because I just couldn't believe what I had heard that with all that evidence, she was found not guilty. I, I felt like Kaylee had been completely screwed over in this whole thing. A, a little girl like that with that much evidence, and there was no justice for her and very much upset me. Well, today I'm pretty much upset again because Peacock which I just want to let you know who's responsible for this travesty coming up. Peacock, which is NBC, which is also Comcast Xfinity, is putting out this piece of garbage. Uh, Casey Anthony, where the truth lies. Oh no, that's where the truth comes to die once again. And it is appalling to me, appalling that they will put this documentary out. Um, as far as this woman goes, hey, I can't call her a psychopath because... I cannot analyze her because she's not in a chair, but I'm going to say as psychopath-like tendencies as I've ever seen, all the traits of psych psychopathy or psychopathy as most people say. Um, so why is she getting a three-part docu-series? Why? Why are they paying her? And I'm going to guess hundreds of thousands of dollars because I think last time she went for her she had her agent or whatever looking for something. It was like $800,000. She already made like $200,000 off of photos of her daughter that she, that the evidence supports she murdered. So now she's going to get, what, hundreds of thousands of dollars to tell a pack of lies. And it's being supported and promoted by supposedly normal people, normal people who are not psychopaths. I'm beginning to wonder. So this crap that's coming out, put out by Peacock, giving her a chance to go once more before the public and lie to them, and I guarantee you it is a pack of lies. It's appalling to me. Um, before I continue, I want to point out below, I have a link to my analysis of the the case, uh, the murder of uh, Kaylee. Uh, it's, so I have a full analysis down there. And I also want to point out that I have a link to Peter Hyatt's recent statement analysis, where he talks about the upcoming, uh, this upcoming docu-series. And it's a, an excellent statement analysis. Peter Hyatt is one of my favorite people. Please cl click on that link below. Subscribe to his channel. He's dynamite at what he does. And he has her nailed. So check out my link to my video and check out his link um, to his video. Now, I want to read you what Peacock says about this upcoming show. And I want to, I want to point out all the people uh, connected with this. And I'm not usually into doxing people. But when, when they promote this garbage, when they put this woman out there and pay her and don't care one bit about Kaylee, and even allow her to accuse her father in this, this, this uh, docuseries, and I'll read a little bit about that, they deserve to have their names pointed out. Sorry, this is the one time I will do it, and I have no sympathy for anybody who's involved in this show. Let me read what it says. Peacock has announced Casey Anthony, Where the Truth Lies, a limited docuseries featuring interviews with Anthony about the investigation, trial, and media spectacle regarding accusations that she murdered her daughter, Kaylee Anthony. Accusations? No, oh, she was charged with murdering her daughter. And the evidence pointed to the fact that she murdered her daughter. We just had an idiot jury involved in this. And you, my view on civilian juries is not, um, I'm not a positive one because I think they can be hoodwinked by people like Jose Baez and fall for stuff they shouldn't fall for. Mm. Why talk to me now when you're not getting creative control? An interviewer asked Anthony in the trailer. Oh, really? She's not getting creative control. I don't know. Is that absolutely true? Did she sign away her creative control? The brief footage con uh, concludes with the inter uh, the intertitle 
Casey Anthony speaks. How lovely. Where the Truth Lies will de debut on Peacock on November 29th. And I ask all of you, don't watch this garbage. Don't give it the time of day because that's how they're making their money. And that's why they're paying, probably paying her a whole bunch of money because they're going to make millions off of a little girl who was murdered, Kaylee. Remember Kaylee? She's the victim. Remember her? Who's standing up for Kaylee? Who? Certainly isn't Casey. It certainly isn't her family at this point. And it certainly isn't the networks. <sighs> All right. It's going to debut on November 29th. The three-part limited series helmed by director and showrunner Alexandra Dean. I'm talking to you, Alexandra Dean. You should not have done this. It is wrong. I don't know what's wrong with you. What kind of personality disorder you have to put this woman out there and not, not focus on what actually happened, but let her lie and lie and lie once again. What kind of person are you? Sorry. People should know that you're behind this piece of garbage. Showrunner Alexandra Dean features materials from Casey's own archive. Oh, how lovely. And behind the scenes footage. Now let's get this what Dean says. Since her acquittal in 2011, public opinion of Casey Anthony has been largely shaped by the media convinced of her guilt. No, no, Ms. Dean. Our, our viewpoint of Casey Anthony was, was uh, shaped by the fact she's a lying piece of crap and that she most likely murdered her daughter, which the evidence supports. That's what we are shaped by. Not wrong media. Nonsense. What emerges over the course of multiple interviews recorded over six months is a startling psychological portrait of Casey Anthony. Well, is it a portrait of psychopathy? Psychopathy. Sorry, I always say psychopathy. It's been my thing for years, and now it's psychopathy. Uh, psychopathy. Is it psychopathy? I doubt it. The startling psychological profile of Casey Anthony and a complete, a complete narrative of what she says happened to her daughter. A complete narrative? No, a complete set of lies. Weighed against multiple sources of potential evidence. I believe the result will surprise many and cause the American public to look at the story in a new light. I'm almost speechless. It's so repulsive. Dean also highlighted that Anthony had never before given an in-depth or on-camera interview explaining her actions. No, because you and Peacock never offered her a whole pile of money and a chance to lie again. That's why. The director also stated that the production maintained complete editorial control with Anthony unable to offer notes. Aww, really? How nice. In 2011, Anthony was tried and acquitted of a capital murder charge and the death of her two-year-old daughter. The not guilty verdict was a matter of public contention after it was announced because we all saw that the evidence supported her guilt. That is why. As attention around the trial had snowballed to a national level because she was a lying piece of garbage and everybody was appalled by all of her lies and the things she said. Tamara Simmons, there's another one. I'm going to talk about all the other people that are involved, executive producers. Your names are here. Tamara Simmons, shame on you. Ebony Porter Ike, shame on you. Laura Mit Mitchell Chishin, can't pronounce her name, shame on you. And Sam Snyderman, shame on you serve as executive producers as Casey Anthony, where the truth lies. While Ch Ch Chanel Hudson O'Connor, shame on you. And Katie Turley Maloney, shame on you. Serve as co-executive producers. The document docuseries comes from the Blue Ant Studios and shame on Blue Ant Studios for putting this garbage together. Shame on all of you. Because you can walk away from things like this. I have walked away from many shows who wanted me to do things that I thought were unethical. I walked away and said, I'm not going to be part of that. All of you people could have said, we're not doing this kind of thing. We're not giving her a platform. We're not allowing her more lies. This is the victim, not this thing over here. <sighs> yeah. All right. Now, before I go, I want to read to you what she's going to accuse her father of in this show. Okay. Hold on one second. Let me find it. All right. Uh, let me explain the, the people involved in her little family. We've got uh, Casey, who 
to me, represents many traits of a psychopath. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do think she represents those traits. I am not a psychiatrist. I cannot say she is a psychopath, but she represents traits of psychopathy. She does. Her mother, Cindy, and again, I'm not a psychiatrist, represents traits of severe narcissism. Maybe even possible Munchausen's in there somewhere. Munchausen's by proxy, where she likes to be the attention of things going wrong and, and be the one who's always put upon. I think she, Cindy raising her may be the reason she is like the way she is. Sorry, Cindy, I don't give you a break. George, the father, George is what I call adult. Adult meaning the kind of guy who marries a woman who basically controls the situation and he just kind of goes along with the program. We see this in cases where women have killed their children and the husbands are seem like, oh, I didn't know they killed nine babies. You know, you know, I mean, I, I thought I thought our babies died of SIDS, you know, and he doesn't seem to realize that his wife has been killing the babies. Um, so wives that have Munchausen syndrome or Munchausen syndrome by proxy, a lot of times the husbands are what I call adults. They're, as long as they get fed and get sex and life isn't too bad for them, they sort of just go ignore a lot of things that happen. And they're just focused on, OK, I'll just go along with things. I'm OK. I guess that's okay, right? I think George is adult. Sorry, George. That's what I think you are. Um, now, you get this whole little scenario going here, and here's where Casey, the one who has traits of apparent apparent traits of a psychopath, now was going to state in this documentary, like she tried to during the trial, which is what basically got her off with Jose Baez, another one who displays traits of a psychopath, in my opinion. Um, just displays them. I'm not saying he is one. Um, now she's she has this this story which she's going to tell about how Casey actually died, which was she was innocent of, and that's why she had to lie about everything because she was so <gasps> caught up in everything she didn't know what to do. Listen to what she says. I was awoken by my father shaking me and asking me where Kaylee was. She says that didn't make sense. She would never even leave my room without telling me. I immediately started looking around the house. I go outside, not, and this is where Peter Hyatt will tell you about when people go into the present tense when they're talking, not the past tense, suddenly they're going the present tense. I go outside, not I went outside, I go outside. Now she's fabricating like a son of a gun. That's called, that's how you know she's lying. And that's why you need to check on the link below and listen to everything Peter Hyatt has to say before you, if you, I don't want you to watch a documentary, documentary, but if you do at least watch my video on the case and the, my analysis and Peter Hyatt, so you don't go in with any, I want you to be really smart when you, if you actually watch this garbage. Okay. Uh, I go outside and I, I'm looking to see where she could be. He was standing there with her. She says she was soaking wet. Now she's back in the past again. You see, she switches back and forth. He handed her to me, said it was my fault that I caused it, but he didn't rush to call 911 and he wasn't trying to resuscitate her. I collapsed with her in my arms. She was heavy and she was cold. She said, he then left with Kaylee, and during the 31 days before she reported her missing, genuinely believed that Casey, Kaylee was still alive. Get out of here. My father kept telling me she was okay. I had to keep following his instructions. Oh, so you see, she's been controlled by daddy. Mm -hmm. He told me what to do. I, I tried to act as normal as I could, she added, saying she does not believe Kaylee drowned in the pool. There was no ladder, no way for her to shimmy up. There's no way to explain that unless her father put her in the pool to cover up what he did. So now, my God, she's not even saying Kaylee drowned accidentally and her father tried to cover it up. She's now, she is now accusing her father of premedit premeditated murder, essentially, that he murdered Kaylee. No, 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 premeditated murder, that's on her, in my opinion. That's what the evidence supports, that she wanted that child out of her life. There was no accident. I believe the evidence supports she premeditatedly killed her daughter. Now she's going to say that's what her father did. <sighs> I am disgusted. I'm not as disgusted about Kay uh, Casey. Why? Because, as I say, she displays psychopathic traits. And you can't expect a psychopath, if she's one, not to not, to not lie. You know, she's going to lie. That's what she does. What I'm disgusted about is that any network, Peacock, NBC, Comcast, Xfinity, and all those producers, especially you, Alexandria, what's her name again? Alexandra Dean. Let me get her name straight again because I want to point her out because she's the, the number one 
person involved in putting this garbage out there to the public. Let me let me just be sure I got her name correct. I want to make sure it's correct. Here we go. Let me just one more time look at her name. Mm -hmm. Alexandra Dean. You. You. Yeah, you. I blame you. I blame all your executive producers. I blame the production company. And I blame Peacock. This should never have air. It should never air. I wish it wouldn't air. And I hope nobody gives watches it. But I'm going to guarantee people are because they're going to be too curious and it's going to make millions of dollars. And she's going to walk away laughing because she there's there's no way she can be taken back to court because this country doesn't allow that. So no matter what she says, she can never screw herself over. And she doesn't care. She's going to make money and she gets to be in the public eye and she loves it. And it's disgusting. And Alexandra Dean, you are the top one to put this garbage out. And you, I can't believe you don't believe she's guilty. So you're just out, out for the money and the fame. You disgust me. All right, that's the end of my soapbox here. As I say, I'm very, this is so upsetting to me. Yeah. So anyway, that's it. That's what I have to say. Uh, if you haven't been to my channel before, please do subscribe to my channel. Please do like the video, even though I don't like what's in the video too much <laughs> because I don't like her. And um, yeah, and share, share on any place to keep people from watching this garbage. Please do share in true crime groups. I, I would appreciate it. Um, anyway, that's, that's what I have to say. Thank you for being here. Bye.